Uh, good morning, folks. It's good to be here with you. I want to start with a brief geography lesson, if I might, uh, to make sure that you understand that Kansas City, Missouri and Kansas City, Kansas are actually two different cities in two different states. We share the same line, but we are named, but we happen to be separated uh, by a state line. And the line in a lot of the city is really just a line on a street. In some areas it's a river, but mostly it's a street. Uh, that means that literally some of our neighbors, our citizens, are literally neighbors right across the street. Uh, this has created some challenges for us in the past, but with every challenge comes an opportunity. And two and a half years ago, Google uh, selected both Kansas cities to be the first cities to receive gigabit speed internet for our citizens. Uh, this presented us with a couple of new challenges common to both sides, but I consider it serendipitous uh, that someone uh, who was classically Jesuit educated at Rockers University, just like moi, uh, and has such a commitment to public service and, an inno and innovation was at the helm across the state line. Uh, Joe Reardon and I implemented the Mayor's Bi-State Innovations Team uh, filled with talented private citizens from both KCMO and KCK. Uh, the Bi-State Innovations Team focused on how to uh, make the two cities could best utilize the groundbreaking technology that we were receiving in our communities and how we would promote it and use it to develop a strategy to tackle digital issues. Uh, we shared what was created, our playbook, uh, with policymakers in Boston, I'm sorry, Austin and Provo now, that they've become Google, Google Fiber Cities as well. Uh, this is really a new style of regionalism. Instead of just the two Kansas cities, we've now reached out to two different states in Texas and in Utah to bring those in so that we can collaborate together. This is the approach that we took also when the two of us decided to become the first co-applicants uh, for Google or for the Code for America Fellowship Program. Uh, with this approach, um, Mayor Holland, who has taken over for Mayor Reardon since Mayor Reardon decided not to run for another term, uh, Mayor Holland and I have worked hard to continue our collaborative efforts uh, between the cities and we share a common vision. Our Code for America Fellowship is about us getting smarter as organizations. On the Missouri side, concurrent with the start of our fellowship year, we hired the nation's first female chief innovation officer in Ashley Hand. Ashley, are you around? Stand up. Take a bow. So Ashley has been involved with uh, a number of the projects, uh, including our mayor's challenge cabinet that's shared by, are chaired by Luke Norris. Luke, Luke, you're up there. Stand up. Come on. Uh, the cabinet's a group of about 30 young professionals who are tasked with developing innovative and forward-thinking civic policies that reflect the evolving needs of the city. Also concurrent with the start of our fellowship, we launched an open data portal, and we've been consistently uploading, uh, let's go back to the last one if we could, please. We've been consistently uploading data sets. Our fellows, uh, Andrew and Ariel, who I will tell you are probably about as frosty as it gets, um, they've been very important uh, to our open data efforts. Uh, and they've been critical to the effort on the Kansas side as well. We have also implemented KC Stat, uh, which is a data-driven public-facing performance management initiative uh, focused on improving city services in a real and demonstrable, measurable way. Our KC Stat program is aligned with the city council's strategic priorities that have been developed uh, over the past two years and continue to evolve along with the development of our citywide business plan, uh, which will help inform our budget process moving forward. Uh, in addition to that, along the way, we focused on better ways uh, to engage our citizens in the program, and we've started to work with Socrata to develop a KC Stat dashboard. 
the dashboard, we hope, will link our open data portal, uh, links to our open data portal, and it will allow residents to see at a glance how we're doing on the job of serving them, and that's something that we take very seriously. Now, as for our fellows and their work, our cities ask them to focus basically on two global issues. First, we ask them to aid us as governments in our efforts to invest in ideas and innovation and become more entrepreneurial as governmental organizations. Second, we ask them to find better ways to partner with entrepreneurs, allowing government to be a creative driver and a partner in the entrepreneurial process, not simply a per paperwork impediment. Mayor Reardon, Mayor Holland, and I all share the belief that government can actually help solve some community issues. Sometimes that simply means getting the hell out of the way. Other times it means that we are coming up with ideas to help create an ecosystem and, and to allow innovative ideas to flourish. So along with addressing these global issues, we also ask the fellows to engage with Kansas City's entrepreneurial community to integrate their work with different initiatives already gathering momentum. So why entrepreneurism? Entrepreneurialism is at the core of Kansas City's being. Uh, we combine Midwestern grit with an entrepreneurial spirit. From the successful neighborhood deli on the corner to major institutions that got their start in Kansas City, you know the cards that you look on to find out if somebody sent you the very best from Hallmark when you are really hurting and you haven't done your taxes and you need to go to H&R Block. Mary and Merrill Dow for some pharmaceuticals, legal. American Century, if you make enough money to actually invest. And we've always been excellent at forging our own path in business. We simply cannot undersell the importance of our natural assets in Kansas City. Because we are also home to institutions like the Kauffman Foundation and the Block School at the University of Missouri, Kansas City, both of which are world-renowned for their work in promoting, educating, and empowering entrepreneurs, we have access to expert assistance that a lot of other cities covet. In short, it made perfect sense for the fellows to take a run at it from the government side to complement all that activity that's already going on. I'll obviously let them tell you about the results and the ends of their work, but in closing, I'd like to say that our fellowship year has been important for several reasons and has helped us build on our successes. Our cities have come away with an application that will be truly beneficial to our citizens. We are now part of a network of forward-thinking government leaders who are interested in sharing ideas and best practices. We've continued down a path of innovating within our own organization, both through technology and through process change. We've expanded our relationship with our civic tech community. We have an organization that works with the Challenge Cabinet, the Brigade, the Brigade is involved in supporting and helping and providing uh, technology and other sorts of knee, uh, support to the Challenge Cabinet and coming up with their own ideas because the one thing that we never do is stifle a good idea regardless of where it came from. And last week, la last week, I'm sorry, I'm beginning to sound like Elmer Fudd. Uh, lastly, we have friends and partners, new friends, especially in Andrew and Ariel. And I'll just tell you, uh, they have just been absolutely delightful to work with. Uh, we have made a couple of small down payments on houses in Kansas City that they have decided that they would move to. They don't know that yet, but it's going to be a surprise later. Well, maybe it's not now. The frostiest thing about the Code for America Fellowship, in my opinion, is, is that we're using those innovations to make government work better for the people in the two Kansas cities. That's the important thing that we're doing. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, that's what it's all about. The people who live in Kansas City, Kansas, and the people who live in Kansas City, Missouri, benefiting from what we've done and what the fellows have brought to us. That's what really matters is the people who live there. Um, that's going to help those folks in our communities in a number of ways. We have the Code for America fellows to thank for that, and I know you're going to find their presentation interesting. Uh, they really dug into the heart of the community with their work, and the outcome reflects that. 
I want to thank you all for allowing me to be here and visit with you today. It has been a pleasure and an honor to work with Code for America. And please join me in welcoming Ariel, Andrew, David, and Jason.